territory acknowledgement is uh, a way of communicating to people about the community or communities that live in an area and have a long, long-term relationship with that land. It is also an opportunity to engage with that community to find out about how they want to be recognized, um, what kind of protocols they want to follow. Territory acknowledgements uh, impact teaching and learning on campus primarily by, again, acknowledging the place where we are learning and acknowledging the history of the land where we learn. I raised the question with the faculty at a faculty meeting about how we would go about doing this and whether people supported doing it uniformly as opposed to my doing it alone. And um, everyone agreed that it was an important thing to do. There was no questions asked about whether or not we should do it. Here at the school, we are preparing people for professions, the information professions, where we manage knowledge, knowledge representations. And our professions have been complicit in colonization <laughs> all the way through, um, often unknowingly, but quite complicit. And if we, through this acknowledgement and many other activities, can work to change those practices, that would be a significant contribution. While I've been here at UBC, I've been at many events and it's, it's customary to do a territory acknowledgement um, and I have found myself to be quite uncomfortable in a variety, for a variety of reasons, um, one of which was a sense of, I have no idea what I'm doing here, I don't understand it, I need some guidance. So the project that we did was to document how territory um, acknowledgement is done at um, 98 universities across Canada. How we serve uh, First Nations people here can be quite different and may not be um, appropriate for what their needs are. And so asking those questions, raising those issues in class where you've got active learners there, I think helps move knowledge forward and hopefully care forward as well. I would contend that every class that we teach here has Indigenous con components and contributions to make and we need to do more work to make that, bring that to the surface. I think it's really different for um, uh, an Indigenous person to be acknowledging other Indigenous people's territory um, than for um, I'm not Indigenous, so the meaning around when I do an acknowledgement I think is very different. First Nations and Indigenous people have an existence that is not purely defined by the colonial context. And so if the acknowledgement is always referring to that context, then that just re reifies that, um, that particular pattern. Um, and so, I mean, I guess that would be partly the difference that I think that when Indigenous people are acknowledging each other, that is breaking that particular pattern. Territory acknowledgement by itself I don't think does very much. I think it's a first step. It can serve as like a seed so it can start a conversation um, and, and lay the groundwork to show the instructors and the students and the staff that we hold this as important um, and but it's also political and uncomfortable because what does that mean for the university for us to be saying we are on unceded territory and to acknowledge that.